Before we begin today's video, I'd like to encourage all of you Daisy server owners to come join my Discord if you really want to take your server to the next level. You'll find everything from the basic XML guides to definitions, some really good JSON builds, proxy builds, along with advanced XML. The link to join my Discord will be on all of my YouTube videos. See you guys there. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to upload or implement any JSON file, whether it's one from my Discord or one you've made on your editor, okay? Uh, to start off, you're going to want to make sure your CFG gameplay.json option, which is at the very bottom of your general settings, you want to make sure this is enabled. If it's not, check it save changes. Then the next step would be going on to the file browser. Once you're in the file browser, if you're PlayStation, the folder will be called Daisy PS Missions. If you're Xbox, it'll say Daisy XP Mission. Regardless, the files are all the same. And then Daisy Offline Chernoris Plus, if your map is Chernoris. But if it's Livonia, you'll have another folder called Daisy Offline Enoch. But again, the files are all the same. Once you're in the Daisy Offline Ternoris Plus, this is the file you're going to want to edit. It's called cfggameplay.json. So go ahead and open that file. Once you're in this file, what a lot of people tend to do is edit the file in on Nitrato's website, which is not the right thing to do if you're a beginner and not uh, very familiar with handling code in general. So in that case, I advise you to go to the tool section of my Discord. Now there's two different validators. There's one called uh, an XML validator, and then there's one called JSON validator. Now for this specific file, you want to use the JSON va uh, validator. What a lot of people tend to do wrong is they go with the XML validator when in fact they should be using the JSON one for JSON files. Now how to tell what file is which is by looking at the name of the file. It should, uh, for instance, the CFG gameplay dot JSON. Now if this said dot XML, that's when you're going to want to use the uh, XML validator tool instead. So go ahead and CTRL, control A, your CFG gameplay file. Then open the JSON validator and paste your file here. Now, if the file is a fresh file from Nitrato, it'll say valid. Now, if yours is invalid for whatever reason, then move on to the default file section on my Discord and download another CFG gameplay file. Once you're in your CFG gameplay file, move over to my custom JSON channel. I've, pro uh, I've provided an example for the object spawner line in the custom JSON. Go ahead and instead of typing it all out, just go ahead and copy the, the example I've made and replace your object spawner line with it. Now, the reason I advise people to use the online validator is because it'll tell you when you make a mistake right away. So for example, if I was to highlight the coma, which is a mistake, and then drop my custom code, the validator app will tell me right away, the validator website will tell me right away that I've made a mistake. In that case, if you're not sure exactly what you've done, just go ahead and press Control Z, which undoes whatever it is that you did last. So have a look at my example again or the video and then try and do it the right way, leaving the coma untouched. See, now that's a valid entry. In my example, there is enough for three files. If you only need one, you can go ahead and delete my other 
entries. Now, if you delete it the wrong way, again, the validator will tell you that there is a mistake. So with this example, that's exactly enough for one file. Now, if you needed more than three entries, then go ahead and make new entries by highlighting from the very last comma all the way to the last quotation, then just paste, and that way you get more entries. For this video example, uh, I'd like to do just one file. So let me, okay. I'm going to delete the other two entries. There you go. Now the name of the file is 100% up to you. It doesn't have to be this exact name. For this video, I'll just use test YouTube as the file name. Now when you're done with your edits, go ahead and control A again, copy the file, drop it back onto your CFG gameplay.json, save changes. Then the next and the last step of this video is going on to the custom folder. Once you're in the custom folder, go ahead and create a new file. Now, you really need to make sure that the name of the file is exactly like the entry you put in in your CFG gameplay.json file. Otherwise, the, the, the server engine won't know what file to call in. So the best method is just go on to the validator, which should have your CFG gameplay file on it still. Go ahead and copy the name after the uh, slash and all the way to before the quotation mark. Copy it. Drop it in here. Save changes. This will make you an empty file. Now, in this file, this is where you want to put in your build. Whatever JSON file it is that you're uploading, this is where you want to drop it. In this example, I'll just use this file, which I have. So I'm going to go ahead, again, Control A, highlight the insides of it, and then paste it on to the new file we just created. Save changes. And that's it. That's the right way for uploading a JSON file onto your server. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like and subscribe for more DAISY related content. And let me know down in the comments below what you'd like to see more of on my channel.